Welcome back. Now, have you seen a difference between your eyes open goals and your eyes closed goals? If you found it difficult to identify your goals, well then you've no clear intention for your future, so how can you possibly bump into something that you don't know that you want to bump into? And how can you create something that is uncreatable? So to be clear with your goals means that you start to step into the creation phase to be able to create those goals, but you need absolute clarity. If there was a difference between your eyes open goals and your eyes closed goals, that is absolutely perfect because now with your eyes closed, you're getting absolutely more clarity around where you want to go to. Now it's about who you are. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you and I go into your kitchen and we're going to bake a cake, and we want a particular type of cake. Well, we'll look through the cookbook and we'll have a series of ingredients. We've got to take those ingredients and we've got to measure out the sugar, we've got to measure out the flour, we've got to bind them together in a particular way, we've got to cook it at a particular heat for a particular amount of time to get the outcome that we're looking for, the cake. That's how you bake a cake. Goals, aspirations, future dreams are absolutely the same. The formula applies, in other words, if you don't have the ingredients for the cake, you can't get the outcome. If you don't have the characteristics for the dream, you can't create the reality. So you need to have the characteristics to achieve your goals. So now we're going to analyze that and we're going to ensure that at the end of this short exercise that you're with us in here now, that you're going to be able to embrace and create within you those characteristics. In fact, you're going to be quite amazed at what you see at the end. Let's go through the board. Your eyes closed goals now is what we're going to work on. We're going to forget now about the eyes open goals. Now you need to list down the characteristics that you need to achieve these goals. Let's say for example you want to become abundant and you're going to be the one that wants to become abundant and you've been in a relationship for quite some time. Well if you're in a relationship for some time and together you're trying to create abundance and your partner hasn't done it, well then it hasn't happened. So that means that you're going to have to take charge and control here because they've been as creative as they, as they possibly can. So that means one of you is going to have to take a leadership position when it comes to abundance. If that is your drive and your desire, you're going to need the characteristic to achieve that. So you need to be independent. Even in a relationship with your partner, someone needs to take charge and control. So you'll need to be independent. You will need to be, for example, be able to step into your leadership power. Hey, I'm going to make us abundant. I'm going to do these things to create abundance. So these are the characteristics that you need. Now, I'll help you with some. Strength, creativity, courage, clarity, resilience, discipline, determination, self-worth, dedication, honesty, emotional control, leadership, teamwork, independence. So there's a whole short list of characteristics that you can use to identify each of your goals and then write the characteristic associated with achieving this over in this chart here. Now you're starting to see who you need to be, who you need to become, the power that you need to step into. We come along then and I want you to write down the non-existent characteristics. That means of these characteristics that you feel that you need, what's missing? Because remember like the cake, if one of the ingredients is missing, you will not get the outcome. So which of the characteristics from here do you feel that you do not have? Then list down your current strength characteristics. So who are you? So what characteristics do you feel that you really own? Are you in emotional control? Are you a great counselor of other people in your family? Are you courageous? Are you resilient? Are you clear? Do you have clarity? Are you a problem solver? Are you a diplomat? Are you able to get into situations that get highly emotional and then walk away from those situations? So are you very good at emotional control? So write down your consistent strength characteristics, who you are right now. Now you're seeing who you are, who you need to be, and who you're not. And that is a very, very important part of this whole process that we call the Quantum Affirmation Collapse Process. See you in the next video.